welcome to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials so today in this lecture i would like to discussing with the, some of the good characteristics of cutting tool materials so first essential characteristics and that will be as a hardness so hardness that will be the essential conditions for the cutting tool materials so tool material must be harder than the workpiece material so then and then this tool material that will be penetrating into the workpiece materials otherwise our tool materials that will be weared out and that will be not any ability to cut the another materials so first require property that will be considering as a hardness second one hot hardness so hot hardness so the ability of the material to retain its hardness at the elevated temperatures or you can say at high temperatures so so that will be the requirement becomes the more and more straighten with the increasing the emphasis on to the higher cutting speed to the bolster productivity so in simple way our required property is a hardness that will be at the elevated temperatures so due to the frictions and you can say so many wear and tear on to the tip of the tool and workpiece materials so that will be having a higher temperature or you can say the elevated temperature so at that temperature the material having a good hardness so that will be called as a hot hardness so that will be present into the tool materials not on to the room temperatures just you can concentrate it will be only at the elevated temperatures third one and that will be the wear resistance so basically we are always focusing on to the tool life so there will be the one more theory i already in my video list so just you can refer it so here just we are discussing with the wear resistance that will be the important property for the cutting tool materials so the cheap tool and the cheap workpiece interface are exposed to such a severe conditions so that will be the adhesive and the abrasion wear is being common so due to the wear and tear you can say our tool and workpiece and chips that will be flowing onto the tool materials so that will be having adhesion and adhesive abrasion kind of wear take place so due to that the wear of the materials so basically wear of the materials it will be the two types one that will be having the flank wear and second that will be the crater wear so two kind of wear is being take place into the single point cutting tools so the cutting tool material should and therefore have a higher abrasion resistance to improve the effective life of the tool so that tool life it will be representing by the tailor's tool life in my previous lectures and the next one toughness so the tool even though the hard should have enough toughness to withstand the impact loads and that come into the beginning of the cut because that will be firstly tool is being attached with the workpiece or you can say with your physical contacts so that will be making a thrust force so at the beginning of the cuts or you can say force fluctuations due to the imperfections into the work materials so we already know each and every materials that will be having a some imperfections presents into the material structures and due to that imperfections presents into the material structures so that will be having a fluctuating kind of loads so the toughness is the second essential property is required with the some of the hardness is also being present into the tool materials fifth one low frictions so the coefficient of the friction between the cheap and the tool should be low which would allow for the lower wear rates and better chip flow so you can also controlling the wear of the tools 
So that would be also the one kind of essential property for lowering the frictions which is due to the sum of the cutting fluids materials or you can say coolants is being used for controlling the frictions and last ones the better thermal characteristics so in that case a lot of heat is generated at the cutting zones so basically three zones first the primary zone secondary zone and interface so the maximum temperature it will be on to the cheap of the workpiece then remaining it will be on to the tool and workpiece so as per the my knowledge the 70% heat it will be on to the cheap 15% on to the tool and more 15% on to the workpiece material so as we discuss for the better thermal characteristics so lot of heat is being generated onto the cutting zone so it is necessary that the tool material should have higher thermal conductivity to dissipate the heat into the shortest time otherwise the tool temperature will become more too high thus that will be reducing the life of the tools so once again we discussing hot hardness so such kind of properties are required at the elevated temperatures or in say high temperatures so if it will be not dissipating the heat so such kind of characteristics you can say hot hardness that will be the essential for the cutting of the tools so these all are the good characteristics of the cutting tool materials so if you like this then subscribe and share Thank you very much.